OK, so in this section, we're going to start looking at probability. And I first of all wanted to make sure that you were clear on the basic concepts and notation that we'll be using as we move forward. OK, so probabilities all can be placed on a number line between 0 and 1. OK, so that's really the key concept that we must make sure that we're clear on, OK? So the, if the probability of an event is 0, then it is impossible. If the probability of the event is 1, then it is certain. And then we've got varying degrees in between where 0 0.5 would be an evens chance, even chance of it happening, OK? So like flipping, the co flipping a coin, a fair coin, and it landing heads would be 0 0.5. So, um, how we write probabilities down is we use a notation of writing P of A. And this would be the probability of event A happening. So, the probability of A happening is written P of A. OK, and then we can also introduce um, the probability of A not happening. And the way that we write that down is using A prime. So this would be the probability of event A not happening. And if event P of A has a probability between 0 and 1, then probability of A not happening is equal to 1 take away the probability of A happening. OK? So if, for example, the probability of A is 0 0.8, then I know that the probability of A not happening is 0 0.2. OK? These two must add up to 1. So they're kind of like the, couple of the basic ideas of probability that we will be using as we move throughout this section. So we are going to be reintroduced to Venn diagrams, tree diagrams, two-way tables, and then building on your GCSE knowledge.